So quick video here on what I think is the best camera sling bag on the market right now. As longtime viewers of this channel know, I used to use a bag made by Kelly Moore. This one right here, canvas, very office worker-like, classy, understated, doesn't really look like a camera bag, pretty great. Reinforced sides, uh, removable camera insert, which I think is cool and really handy. Um, but, but it has no drink holders of any real size on the sides here. So if you wanted to have a drink, either it goes in the front pocket and gets your pens all wet, or worse, it goes in the middle pocket with your camera gear, gets your camera gear all wet. No good. So this major design flaw, this otherwise basically perfect bag for camera stuff, um, uh, had me looking around. Among other things, I tried the Wotencraft 7 liter pilot bag and thought it was a pretty great bag, but it was a little bit too small for my needs. As luck would have it, Wotencraft saw that video and hooked me up with some other stuff to go along with this bag, my Wotencraft 10 liter pilot bag. And this is probably the best camera bag sling, at least, on the market today. Here are some reasons why. First and foremost, yes, it has two awesome drink holders. They're elastic and stretchy, so you can fit, oh, I don't know, uh, ice hose for a hookah in there, uh, a smart water bottle, a nice big size water bottle, and it'll fit securely, tightly, and easily. It'll just slide right in. Um, Speaking of sliding right in, it's nice and deep. So I can actually fit a GFX 100 Mark II holster style, put it all the way in the bag, and then pull it all the way back out. No problem with a big 110 millimeter lens on it. In terms of that big deep storage area, one, there's sort of this rectangular, I don't know if you can see this in here, this like a rectangular divider that can be moved back and forth to separate your laptop from your camera gear. And then if you have more like magazines or reading material, a book along with your laptop or iPad, you can move that a bit more forward. And it does make the camera gear area smaller, but it's, it's basically like an accordion. It goes back and forth and is totally adaptable depending on what you're carrying, which is really nice. Last thing on this nicely deep camera bag are the dividers. While it's not quite as convenient as the whole like removable cube thing from the Kelly Moore bag, these Velcro dividers are pretty nice and they're very adaptable as well. I like the feature that you can put it down like this so you can put a lens here and then another one up here and the camera bag is deep enough that both of them are held securely and don't roll around. I also dig all these little accessories that Wotencraft makes for these bags. Like on my little laptop divider, I have an SD card holder here. And then my favorite is this, I, think, I guess it's a lens cap uh, pouch. Um, I honestly just put it on there because I think it looks cool. When you take the bag and close it with this rad magnetic closure here, uh, I just think it looks cool and kind of Blade Runner-y with that circle in, in the front of the bag. Other things that are great about this bag is that yes, it has the strap to hold the bag on the handle of like a roller bag piece of luggage. So you can just plop it on top of your roller bag and just take it along with you. You don't have to carry on your shoulder. Um, this back zipper pocket is fine. It's got the weather sealing here and it's, it's, it feels like it's just kind of the right size. Uh, it's, you know, it opens up, it opens up about two inches and then it goes all the way to the bottom, basically at the, at the bottom of the camera bag where your camera gear also stops. So that, that's just well done. You never got some like lens cloths in there and some, uh, some wet wipes, that kind of thing. Another very cool feature about this bag that actually took me a couple of days to figure out is that there is a secret pocket here under the front flap of the bag with a zipper and a mesh pouch in here. I don't know that you can really see it on the video, but there it is. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature. And then it's got this front pocket that's got two smaller pockets inside of it. I don't know if you can see that either. Trying to show you there. And then that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple bag. So, you know, it's really the, the drink holders that make this bag, right? It's nice that it's customizable. The dividers are Velcro-y, so they can be moved around. I usually only use one or two. I put a camera and then some other stuff, card readers, maybe another lens, you know, whatever else. Uh, um, so it's not like a, a full shoot, five, you know, five lens, two camera setup type bag. It's more of an everyday carry. Before that, it's great. It carries whatever papers or computer or laptop or iPad or whatever it is that I'm carrying along with enough camera gear 
that I could do a little shoot, or if I see something cool, or if I want to do street work, it all works great for those kinds of things. Of course, one of these videos would not be complete without me complaining about a few things. <laughs> Uh, the first one's pretty small, but I just feel like this handle is a little flimsy. I wish it had a little more meat and weight to it. It makes me feel like that's the first place that's going to rip or tear. Um, the other area that is sort of a point of failure, I feel like, are these plastic uh, connectors here. I feel like this should have been metal. I think also because of these sort of flimsier plastic uh, uh, connectors, sometimes the strap gets like twist it up really easily, and that's pretty annoying. Uh, um, but it's not hard to undo and untwist. I just feel like I gotta do that a lot. Like maybe it's this material isn't wide enough or it's not like stiff enough, but it gets twisted a lot. And then you're always like, okay, which side of the, like the pad thing did I, did I put it on? This is actually wrong right now, for example. <laughs> there we go. Um, but I like how this moves. And this thing with the leather uh, pull tab to make the whole strap longer or shorter is pretty handy and works well, even though it's plastic also. But beyond that, I would say that my main gripe is that, that the front pocket here is just too deep. I feel like I constantly get, lose stuff because it sort of curves down at the end here. Um, and where it curves, stuff gets sort of stuck under there because your camera gear tends to bulge out a little bit there. And, sort of, and then so little stuff that went in this front pocket gets stuck under that bulge and you forget it's there. I've lost a pen and a, you know, a key and a couple other things. You know, I thought I was totally lost to the world and I realized, oh no, it's just in the bottom of the front pocket of the bag. Um, so either like make, make this opening bigger or like like have a square sort of fold out accordion thing or just make it shallower so the two like internal pockets are right up at the zipper um and, and that would be a lot better uh, i like the way that the kelly moore bag does it much better where the zipper goes all the way there on the edges so you can kind of like open up the front pocket quite a bit and see what's in there i wish that this could do that but be, because the zipper doesn't go all the way around it just goes straight across when you pull it open there just isn't a lot of play to get your hand all the way down there and really get a good look what's going on in there. It's a little bit dark down there, a little cavernous and dark down there. The last thing is this, this flap folds in and then goes over. And so far I haven't had any issues with it to be completely honest, but it just feels like it should be like maybe half an inch longer to really cover and sort of secure the front of the bag with this, with this clasp, you know, again, it's just magnetic clip, but then you pull it, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's all the way kind of over the bag. There's some, it feels like there's like a little bit too much holiness and access to the top here, even with a, a cinched clothes like that. Um, oh, also I should just note that there are tripod straps in the bottom here. Nice flat bottom so you can sit it on the ground like this and it stays. Um, I, I also like all these like carabiner uh, situations here. Um, you know, they have a whole bunch of accessories you can use with that. I should also mention they have some cool looking lens wraps, which I'll talk about in another video I'll test out. And then Wotencraft also has some pretty amazing straps. And I've got a very special video about their straps coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. So in a nutshell, despite some small niggles, I do still think this is the best sling camera bag out there for sort of everyday use. Um, this is what I use every day. I take it with me all the time. I've been using it for two or three months now. And you can see, like, I don't, I don't baby it at all, but it looks practically new. It's pretty impressive. Like, I've gotten all kinds of crap on it and just wipes right off. So, um, you know, if you're in the market for a stylish, durable, sling, everyday type camera bag, I would give a really long, hard look at this Wotencraft 10 liter bag. Let me know what you think about this bag. Have you used it? Do you want to try it? What were your thoughts if you have used it? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!